to last credit here coming to you guys with another podcast today we're going to be doing me and darren are going to be doing a review of season one of the, the long awaited defenders uh series so this is of course kind of the culmination of marvel's uh little netflix uh shows with daredevil jessica jones iron fist luke cage uh, it actually connects all in a very surprising way and all comes together. It's pretty cool. But I was incredibly, 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 incredibly excited for The Defenders. I was actually more excited for The Defenders than I am for uh, Infinity War. And I'll get into it in a second, but I'm very disappointed. Uh, Darren, what wow, did you think? I did not know <laughs> that. Holy shit. Um, oh, <laughs> I didn't. Yeah, I did. I didn't know that. Um, well, that is news to me. I, I did. What, did you not see my tweets? No. Oh. Wow, I did not. Know well, that. you go ahead. Holy shit. Um, <laughs> I agree with Dylan. Um, I, 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 Affinity War is still above this when it comes on in anticipation level, but um, yeah, I, I was super excited about the Defenders. I was watching the trailers up until the day of release. I binged it all um, last night or, or yesterday or whatever day it is right now. Binged it all, um, and I really, really enjoyed this series. I This is everything I wanted and more. I think it totally delivers on what I've been waiting for, the character interactions, most of the action, the story. Um, it kind of falters, and I'm sure we'll get into it, kind of falters toward the end a little bit. But overall, I really, really enjoyed this series. I thought this was a, a slam dunk. Um, I thought most of this was a slam dunk on Netflix. It was Netflix and Marvel's part. I really, really dug it. Yeah, I, I, I did not dig it like you did so much. I don't think it's bad. I don't think it's bad, but I don't think it's good. I think it's, it's just okay, and that's disappointing because I just. I, it could have been so much better. I mean, Daredevil, Daredevil is one of my favorite shows of all time. I love, 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 love Daredevil, and I, uh, I really like what I've seen of Jessica Jones, and Luke Cage. I haven't watched Iron Fist, but you know, but um, I don't know. It's there's just there's a lot of good things about the Defenders. Um, some of the, uh, some of most of the action is uh, really great. Um, of course, all the performances, uh, Mike Coulter, Kristen Ritter, Finn Jones, and uh, Charlie Cox are all great. All the supporting roles, mm-hmm. um, those are all great. Most of the characters are really great, but <sighs> there's a lot of things that bring it down for me, uh, including the thing that I was most excited for, Sigourney Weaver's villain. What did you think of Sigourney Weaver's uh, villain, Alexandra? I really uh, liked her. I, I thought, like, the only thing I really don't like about her is she's kind of, um, damn it, she's kind of a uh, cotton mouth again, <laughs> just a little better. I was a little better this time around. If you've watched Luke Case, I just feel like she's just cotton mouth. Just I thought cotton mouth was much, much better. It's just how she how she ends in certain things. <laughs> so, but, um, yeah, but I, I really enjoyed her. I thought, I, 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 um, I did a solo review on my channel, and, I, and one of the things I brought up is, um, she feels, I like how, it's just so cool seeing Sigourney Reaver, this really tour Yeah, it force. is, but she's just so boring. I don't think she is. I, I think she brings her presence, um, the presence of her, just her as an actress, she brings that, and also just as a character, I thought she was very compelling. And I thought, like, what some of the things, her wanting a daughter out of Electra and really putting all these people in their, in their place, and, and her interaction with each defender in the, in the royal Chinese, what was it, the royal dragon? I love that. Yeah. I absolutely love that. She knows how to use her words. She even gets Iron Fist at a moment. At a moment, she even weakens Iron Fist a little bit where he's just like... You know, maybe I should go with you. I really, really enjoyed Alexandria. Uh, Alexandra. Alexandra? Um, yeah, Alexandra. Yeah, I really enjoyed her throughout the entire thing. You see, I 
I was and, liking oh, one it more, at one, first. One more thing too. I like how she can also fight. I did yeah, like see, her. that's the thing I liked. I really like that, but they only touch on that once. They only do that in that one scene. In that one scene, and it's, uh, I wanted to see more of that because that that was cool. That was intimidating, and we never got to see that again. I didn't throughout the rest of the season. I did not find her intimidating at all. I just thought her character was just boring and flat. All she really did was just sit in a chair and just talk. And I just I didn't find her very interesting at all and i i think uh part of what uh, i don't really find compelling about her character is I, I wish they would have went more into her backstory and uh went a little deeper into that um it would have been cool to see her like younger and traversing the world a little bit yeah, that could have been cool um but I, I just I don't I didn't find her to be compelling at all. I just I thought she was boring and um I, I, I like I don't I don't know about the villain of Iron Fist, but I definitely like uh Kilgrave, Cottonmouth and Kingpin uh much better than I, I, I like, do. I really did like um uh the villain of Iron Fist, uh but I think the way I think the way it goes is Kingpin like if I was ranking them it would be Kingpin, Kilgrave Cottonmouth, um, the villain of Iron Fist, the multiple villains, there's actually a bunch of villains in Iron Fist, so the multiple villains in Iron Fist, and then somewhere, like, under, like, eight stories of concrete is, uh, Diamondback. Yeah. But, I mean, it, it, it was cool seeing Sigourney Weaver, uh, in a Marvel Netflix show, but another problem I had is that I think, I think her character started to get interesting in episode six, but then they just killed her off. <laughs> Cause and, she, she really does this, like pretty much lay it down. This like I, I am everything. Yeah, that was I, so I'm cool. That was so cool, and they just kill her off. Yeah, and that, that's why I say like she's like Cottonmouth. She's yeah, just, like Cottonmouth. Just he's starting to be cool again, and then like bye, you're dead. But I, I liked Electra much better. What did you think of Electra? I that's see that is one of my faults. You didn't um, like Electra. I liked her as a black sky, and I liked her struggle. But when she finally... And I liked when she killed um, Alexandra. And like when she was just like, I am a Nick Electronachios. You work for me. Like, I liked that. But then as it kept going, I was just like, I don't understand your what are your motivation. What are you actually doing? Why are you really doing this? Were you playing them the entire time when you were resurrected? Like, what is your end goal? Is your end goal just for to get Matthew out and just for you and Matthew to have that tussle? I mean, I just didn't really understand what she was going for, why she was still following in Alexandra's uh, footsteps. I can, I can understand that, but I thought, I think just as a, as a villain, uh, I just found her to be more interesting, maybe just because I had, I already had, um, she was already in Daredevil season two, and uh, I, I just find, I think she has, I think she, uh, she had much more personality than Alexander did, but at the same time, I get your criticisms of that. Um, and that kind of leads into another problem I had when you were talking about the, the fight she had with, uh, Matt at the at the end of at the end of the season finale, um, I hated that. I thought it was I thought it was so so. It just what should have happened is Matt uh, Matt should have let Matt, Matt should have let go of her. I think that would have fulfilled his arc, and I don't think his arc is ever really fulfilled in the season because he never lets go of Electra. In a weird way, I kind of like that in a weird... Because it is kind of just a very tragic, like, I won't let you go. I, I like that you're you're my own... The only thing I really feel for in this world and you're the only thing that really makes things right. But it would... But, it's, but I do agree with you a little bit. It would have been cool, like, if the Defenders really were the family that Matt had found... If he chose them over yeah. Electra, that that probably would have been kind of cool. Yeah, and I, I just 
I, I never really got a sense that you know his his character ever really developed throughout the season at all, mm-hmm. and because uh, he's kind of just the same the same person that he is at the beginning. He just you can't let go of Electra. And I mean, I I get how that can work, but when I was watching it, just it just didn't really work for me. And the felt that shit that they did, I hated yeah. that. That reminded me a lot of EVS. It reminded yeah. me a like the, this entire the 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 last half of the season finale reminded me. I was just like, am I watching BBS right now? This is weird. Mm-hmm. And another thing is uh, how how they talk about how Matt sacrificed himself for the city. He didn't. Yeah. He sacrificed himself because he was. I mean, he didn't really even sacrifice himself. He was just selfish and just wanted to be with Electra. Yeah. He didn't sacrifice himself for the city or anything. He just. I mean, I guess he kept her down there. Yeah, but I mean, she couldn't get out anyways. Right. I mean, because I mean, there was no elevator anymore. So. Yeah. But uh, uh, but speaking of the defenders themselves, did you like? Did you enjoy all of them? Like their interactions and and whatnot? Yes, yes, I did. Uh, I think I think the dialogue between uh, them is really cool and fun. Um, yeah, I don't really know what else to say there. Yeah, I, I really enjoyed all of. Them. Uh, I think my favorite, my favorite is just such a struggle between Luke Cage and Jessica Jones because Jessica mm-hmm. Jones, they gave her all the good one liners. She was the audience. Just a lot of the things that were that were happening. Just like, I, I mean, because even when Stick is telling her about the hand, she's just like, "What? What? I, I love that." Um, yeah, but Luke Cage is just he's he's Luke Cage is like Superman. He's just so stoic. He's friendly, and like even when he was talking to Iron Fist about the dragon, he's just like, "Oh no, there wasn't." I just I love that. And um, and their their interactions, Iron Fist and Luke Cage's. I think it's going to be a big mistake going forward if they do not um, if they do not bring either one into either one seasons going forward. Mm-hmm. They have to do that Heroes for Hire thing because their chemistry it worked. That's one of the things I was yeah. worried about going to this into this series, but it did work in between them. But yeah, I like the character interactions, that Royal Dragon episode. I just like how this episode this series, even when it started to lose steam, because I felt like it lose lost steam between episodes six and seven, they still managed to focus on the characters and get them right. And I really did appreciate that. So yeah, I think this this the defenders as a unit, they're pretty cool. One thing this show does do right that uh, Scott Buck obviously could not do right is Iron Fist. Yes. They do Iron Fist really at first in the first episode, in the second episode, I was kinda like, eh. But as his character develops throughout the season, his arc is just fantastic. Yeah. Um Do you like he, him better? He really though? developed Huh? I like him better when he's more laid back and he's more just like, yeah, me you too. know, I, 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 you, you saw me, I got a tie. Like, I like when he's just like the kid of the group. And I, I like when he's less self-serious. When he's self-serious, Iron Fist, he's just like, get away from me. But when he's yeah. just like, you know, like laid back, cool dude, I like him like that. And I really hope they continue that. And I never thought I would say this, but the Defenders actually got me excited for Iron Fist Season 2. <laughs> It didn't, it didn't, because I like how he's apparently now the protector of New York, but it really does bug me that that Netflix still doesn't have the fucking balls to put him into the um, not Iron Fist outfit. Yeah, they need to, they need to get on that, because that should have, that should have happened at the end of the yeah, season. because when he lit it up, when he lit up his fist, I was just like, wait, what? Why, what, why are you wearing a jumper? Like, what the... What is, what is that? Yeah. Uh, but another problem I had with uh, Defenders is a lot of the direction. Um, like, there's a few times in, in the first uh, two episodes before they meet, every single scene with an individual character like Jessica Jones, Daredevil, or uh, Luke Cage, or Iron Fist, um, is the lighting is set to uh, the color that corresponds to their character. And it is, it is very, it is really cool at first. It works at first, but they do it so, so much that it becomes unnatural. And it just seems like way too on the nose. It only bugged me like 
it bugged me for like two seconds because there are there are a couple times where it's just like there's no way in hell that everything is so red. Yeah, there's, there's no way. But <laughs> but um, but it only bugged me a few times. But overall, I think it was a cool choice. I think it was a very cool aesthetic choice because even in even as they drift into deeper into the series, there's that still happens and it does like when um, Jessica walks out of the Royal Dragon. You have that purple hue when um, Luke and Jessica are talking, so I think it does work. And even when they're in the Royal Dragon, all their colors are mixed yeah. together. And it, and yeah, it, I think that yeah. works. I think that's one of the things that work. Yeah, and it, like, but oh, go ahead. Well, I was just saying it's just like in other times where it is just like so red or so purple, and it just seems like they're just shoving it in your face, and it's like okay, no. Yeah, um, I think I think it works overall, but I can definitely see it coming from her. It's just like, it's too much! Uh, but another thing with the direction is there, there's a couple of scenes um, where the cinematography is, the cinematography is just awful. Like, there are some uh, scenes where they're uh, filming dialogue, and they I'm, f- I'm fine with just using shot reverse shot, but it's when they try and go overboard with it, and they... Uh, there, there's a scene between Misty Knight and uh, Jessica Jones where uh, they're doing like shot reverse shot and like uh, you Jessica Jones is talking and Misty Knight's head takes up three fourths of the frame and you just see like a corner of Jessica Jones's head talking <laughs> and it's and they do this back and forth and it's re- it's really weird and then there's a scene in the the Royal Dragon restaurant where they're all talking. And uh, they're doing like certain circular movement. That they just they do it like the entire scene, mm-hmm. and it's uh, it it was just weird, and it, it felt like something out of a CW show. I can definitely see that a little bit. I mean, and by, the only thing the 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 camera work and the choreography kind of jarred me, and even the editing is like the yeah, like fight. with the train thing. No, not the train. The train. Oh, okay. Yeah, the final fight. I was just like. Because there's a scene where Electra jumps on Luke Cage's leg, hits Luke Cage, but they cut behind her, and she's hitting somebody else, and then Luke Cage falls to the floor. You're just like, what the fuck is going on? Yeah, and that, fir- that first fight scene, the opening fight scene, is awful. It's yeah. bad. Yeah, when, you, when you're just like, I hope this show re- redeems Iron Fist, and then you see And then you watch that, and you're, you're like, like, fuck. Should I just turn it off now? But they, they recover. Then, they recover because those the hallway yeah, fight do. scenes. The t- they have a lot of some tag team stuff. I thought Daredevil and um, Luke Cage uh, jumped. I mean, not my bad. Uh, when um, Jessica Jones and Luke Cage, Jessica Jones and Daredevil meet for the first time when Daredevil's in costume. I thought that was a great fight scene. And I think I think that this show has a problem with. Uh, sometimes it seems like. Each director that directed each episode has a, a distinctive vision for what they want this episode to be, and it feels inconsistent sometimes with the show. Uh, just kind of like with how in the opening fight scene, uh, with the, they, they do the, the quick cuts and the slow-mo, and then um, they never do that again. Yeah. And it's, it's just kind of weird. Um but and then like in the season finale, when they're fighting ninjas to rap music, and then there's that another was so weird. Yeah, that was so weird. Was it did not really work at all. And it came after like it really threw me off, um, because it came after such a badass moment where he's just like light it up, and then he gets <laughs> small, and then he's like, it's like it's just like wait, what's 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 going on? <laughs> yeah, it's it was it was jarring. Uh, I was like, what the fuck am I watching? Um, but yeah, it's just, if sometimes the directing kind of just feels inconsistent with the show's uh, overall style, uh, because it seems like each director has a distinctive vision, like I said, for what they want the episode to look like. Which is but, fair. I mean, yeah, it's fair, but it, it just sometimes feels inconsistent. Yeah. But uh, it is, I will say... Um... Damn it, what the, what the fuck I was going to say? Damn, I forgot what I was going to say. Oh, yeah, but I do, like, just um, speaking of the series' tone, I like how this, 
it doesn't take itself too seriously. Yeah, I really it does, like yeah. That about the defenders, and none of them like none of this takes itself where it's just like, oh god, what are we doing? Like they they are aware of the situation. Oh, and I hope I hope to God the hand is finished. Yes, please. I like the hand. I'm so tired. Of I know it. I like them, but I feel like I feel like that's another thing. I feel like the series does right. This feels like a a chapter is closed. Uh, that yeah. we've moved past. This is the end of their phase one, and we can move on to different threats. I mean, Iron Fist, we might see them again, but I don't think we need a like if if they do a Defenders two because even the showrunner, uh, not the showrunner, one of the executive producer Jeff Loeb, he's kind of the he looks over all of this stuff. Um, he he even said himself, I don't know if there's going to be a Defenders two. But if there is a Defenders 2, I hope that's there's a, gonna be, there's going yeah, to be. Yeah, I, I think there needs to be after this. I yeah, want there to see needs these characters. To be. I want to see these characters um, team up again. But, I don't um, know why they would not. Honestly, like this, this show is obviously going to be a massive hit. I, I, I I have no idea why they would not do a second season. Yeah, I, I I think there absolutely needs to be. But um, yeah, I just hope that the next threat is something completely different because the hand. We've done all what we needed to do with the hand. They're, they're We've done it four times now, I think. So, yeah. and is Electro dead? Uh, Matt survived, so I guess she could have survived too. But I hope. I mean, <laughs> I would rather her just be dead. <laughs> I mean, this is the second because this would be the third time. Uh, no, second time they brought her back. So. Unless she comes back as bull like. Yeah. Um. But speaking of. The hand, I just, I never, I never really got, I never really felt any stakes, honestly. I, I don't know, I just, I never really connected with uh, the city, I guess. I never felt uh, any kind of stakes for what was happening. Did, did you? Um, yeah, Dylan, because there's fucking people, um, you, you asshole. But, uh, no, I'm, I'm oh. <laughs> No, but I get where you're coming from. I, I felt the stakes. Um, I did feel the stakes. I felt I the stakes in, surprisingly, I felt the stakes in Matt and Electra's fight, even though there's Daredevil Season 3, and obviously he was not going to die. But I felt the stakes there, but I never felt the stakes for, like, the city as a whole or what was going down. Yeah, I mean, maybe there should have been one more earthquake, and maybe they should have. there should have been, like, Jessica and the Defenders really... Um, helping more people because I, I do wish they they weren't so hidden like, I do wish there yeah, was I something agree. where it's just like you know you do see like graffiti on the walls of like the, the defenders or something like that um I would I really I would, would wish we would have got that but I did feel the stakes of the city because you know as we draw closer and closer especially when they all awaken to like oh shit Danny's gone oh shit like we gotta go get him like I felt mm-hmm. the I really I did feel the stakes there and I feel like um, this this didn't take away from my enjoyment or anything. This isn't particularly a negative. It's just something that I would have liked to see. I would have liked to see themselves uh, see them call themselves uh, the defenders, yeah, or something along the line of that. I mean, it's kind of corny, and it's it you know it it could have been kind of corny, but I would have liked to see it happen. Hey, hey it fits the show. <laughs> I think what yeah. about the show. <laughs> Felt, felt the um, fit the show because they're they're not all taking themselves too seriously. But um, yeah, I would have liked I would have like if someone had just coined the term like y'all yeah. are defenders because you never mm-hmm. really felt like and maybe that is the point, but they never really got to really feel like heroes. And mm-hmm. I mean, it may, that like I said, that might be the point of all of that because they are kind of they're all very reluctant, even when they're like getting on the elevator. Just because it's like you guys ready? No. Mm-hmm. But, um, yeah, I just wish someone, you know, a collective group of people are just like, you guys saved the day back there. Like, we wouldn't be here without y'all. Yeah. Uh, but, I mean, I, like I said, I don't think this show, I don't think this season was bad. Uh, there's a lot of things that they could have done better, but, um, it's just, it's just okay. Uh, oh, yeah, what did you think? Uh, what did you think about the intro? I meant to ask you that. I liked it. I like how, like, the city... I like how they... I wish the music was better. I just... just yeah. You know, I don't... I don't know, man. I mean, it's weird because all of their... Except for Iron Fist, all of their 
themes are really good and really they stand out. Like the the music mm-hmm. throughout all these shows are good. So it was just kind of jarring for me to just like, okay, this is just generic superhero stuff. But uh, yeah. I did like how all like their they combined within themselves and they created this the city the city um landscape the grid. So I did like the I did like the opening credits. And another another thing I liked See, I liked the logo in the first teaser trailer from last year's Comic Con. Mm-hmm. I hate the new logo that they used, and it doesn't fit with that uh, intro at all. Because mm. it's like a giant block of concrete. <laughs> yeah, it's just it's weird. It just doesn't fit. Um, and I, another thing, I think what I told you, I told, I said this in the chat earlier, but mm-hmm. I think what would have been better and cooler is if their intro would have been like that first teaser from last year's Comic-Con, like with the newspaper. Uh, I think that would have been really cool. Yeah, I think that would have been fine. I, I think I do prefer the city grid, but um, I think that would have been fine as well. Uh, well, is that all you got to say about Defenders? Um, yeah, I just... Um, what do you think they're going to do next? Um, make another good season of Daredevil. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, because that's one thing I'm really curious. I'm really, really curious about what they're going to do with Iron Fist, though. They yeah. they, they made a good bet for him, for him to really do well. So uh, I really hope they do something cool with Iron Fist and Luke Cage. I, I think, like, and Jessica Jones is a hero now. She really mm-hmm. came um, came full circle. She ripped the stuff off of her door, and, like, she she's back really trying to be an investigator again. So I can't wait to see what comes next. And I just hope since all these things are kind of filming at the same time that they do all occasionally pop up in their own cuz i feel like they're yeah they're maybe they're not friend friends but i do feel like they would just be like okay let's go to the bar right quick you know mm-hmm. just just you know um catch up with each other so I really hope that, but um, yeah, I, I really enjoy this series, Dylan. I'm sorry you did it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I did not enjoy it. I just, I just think it's, it's, it's okay. It's, yeah, it's just, okay. I'm not gonna watch it again. I'd rather, in fact, I'm probably after we get off the phone, I'm probably just gonna go watch fucking Daredevil. But, <laughs> um, so how? I mean, you it's, rank, it's not bad. It's how just, would you rank them now? Like, do you do you have a ranking or from what I've seen? Yeah. Like in full or just like. I mean, from, uh, from like all the Netflix series, series from Marvel that you've seen. Uh, well, I, I the only ones I've actually seen in full are Defenders and Daredevil, but oh shit, um, I thought you watched all of Jessica Jones. <laughs> no, I've only oh, seen okay. half of it. I've seen half of Jessica Jones and I've seen half of Luke Cage. I'm actually trying to uh, tomorrow. I'm gonna start watching, start back watching Jessica Jones, and then I'm gonna watch Luke Cage and then Iron Fist. So. Uh, but from what I've seen, um, Daredevil, uh, Daredevil season two, Daredevil season one, Jessica Jones, Luke Cage, Diverse. I think I'll go Jessica Jones, Daredevil season two, Defenders, Daredevil, Luke Cage. How dare you? How fucking Fist. dare you? I, I, hey, I like, I... You put, you put Defenders over Daredevil Season 1. Yes, I like Daredevil Season 1. I, I don't love it, I like it. It's a, it's a good, it's a generic origin story. It's really good. You are a generic origin story. We all are a generic origin story. But, um, no, it's a really generic origin story that is really good... But it's just, it's been there, done that. We've, we've seen that a thousand times. Well, since uh, since I honestly do not feel like recording another podcast and don't feel like editing another one, and it still counts as part of the Defenders because it's a post credit scene, what did you think of the <laughs> teaser trailer for The Punisher? <laughs> that is a, that was a pretty good segue. Um, <sighs> I thought it was okay. Um, I wish it was uh-huh. just flashy, flashy image image there image image there but um i mean it's just a teaser i know i know but uh yeah i just wish it was something that wasn't just uh you know just flashy but uh yeah um i'm looking forward to the series it de- definitely looks something like something different from what we've been getting which is, yes. is which is fun it looks very more cool. violent exactly a very violent New location, very uh, westernish, especially with uh, that theme at the end. It kind of 
it actually reminded me, and some people might get mad at me about this, but it did remind me of the Thomas Jane uh, Punisher toward mm-hmm. the end because because of the score. I like the score from the Thomas Jane Punisher. So uh, it, it kind of reminded me of that a little bit. But, yeah, I'm looking forward to John Bernthal returning because I think he did an interview the other day where he's just, he was just like, I'm trying to make sure the Punisher isn't too heroic. He doesn't come off too heroic, so I, I can't wait to see how uh, he he and the writers and the directors uh, interpret that character. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that, I, 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 I cannot wait for the show. I, I hope to. God, it does not let me down uh, like Defenders, but I don't think it will because I mean the showrunner of the show is uh, is the dude who did Hannibal, so and I've heard that's fucking incredible. So I I have I have faith in this in this show, um, and I, I really really like this teaser trailer. Uh, it it just it just looks so cool and just violent, and it, it's everything that. Uh, I have been looking forward to in a Punisher TV show. I know a lot of people think that uh, Punisher shouldn't have his own TV show, which is like Darren. Uh, but hey, when I say? when I saw, I, I love this character. Punisher is actually um, my favorite Marvel character, and so um, when I when I saw him in Daredevil season two, I was like, for the love of God. Give this man his own show, and then they announced it like a week after Daredevil season two, and I was like, yes. And then now we got the teaser trailer, and it's it's pretty incredible, and I I cannot wait. But what did you guys think of? Have you, have you guys watched the entirety of the Defenders yet? Uh, and if you have, let us know what you thought in the comments below. What did you think of the teaser trailer for The Punisher? Let us know in the comments below. And make sure you leave a like on this video and subscribe. Check out all of our other videos. Check out our Twitter at Till the Last Cred and our website tillthelastcredit.com. Thank you guys for watching. Until next time, it's Till the Last Credit signing off. <laughs> that was incredible. Yeah. That was a really good discussion. <laughs> now let's just hope to God you've been re- recording this whole time. Yeah, I forgot to tell you. Uh... <laughs> I forgot to. About ten minutes ago. <laughs> that, that was that was a really, really good discussion. Yeah, should we just call that can... um the Defender spoiler discussion? Yeah, yeah, just call it that, yeah. And then maybe and then maybe and then maybe and then maybe